Okay, now the next piece that I always get is a, what about fertilizing? When can I start fertilizing? So there's a couple different strategies that I've talked about here, and we'll kind of go through them. Now, for those of you that use the regular strategy that I talk about, which is at the time you do your aeration and overseeding, you're throwing down, you know, Milo at like, I don't know what, like three quarter pounds, and then maybe you got some sort of starter fertilizer, triple 10, that you're throwing down at another three quarter pounds, so you're going like a full pound and a half of in and all that, right? You don't need anything else for at least 35 to 40 days. You don't need anything else. Just let it ride, man. Just, uh, we'll talk about biostimulants because those are always fine, but you don't need any more FERT. Once you get to that 35, 40 day mark, go ahead, man, pick what you want. Throw down some Carbon X, three quarter pound, Malorganite, three quarter pound, you know, whatever. Now, I say three quarter pound, I'm talking about nitrogen per thousand. I'm, I always talk about that. Cool season lawn, fine to keep pushing. You guys can push, push, push in the fall. In fact, the more nitrogen you push in the fall, the better because then the less you'll have to push next spring, especially if you're somebody that dealt with any kind of, you know, uh, brown patch disease uh, or any really, so I don't know if um, dollar spot overwinters, but definitely fusarium blight and um, what else is out there? Rhizoctonia. I'm trying to talk like I know what the heck I'm talking about. I just like saying those big words, overbiter. But uh, with those, those will overwinter. So you'll want to go low nitrogen next spring. So that's why you should load up here in the fall and, you know, and then push it. Now, for those of you that used X start, we got a quick little easy plan with that. You do three pounds per thousand on the X start at the time of seeding. And then a couple, two tree weeks later. So right about now, day, you know, 15 to 21, do your second app, three pounds per thousand. If you don't want to walk on it or you don't want to, you know, take your big fat spreader wheels out on it, get a little whirly gigger. Uh, spreader and put that out there. Those are fine. Those, what are they? Whirly gigs or whatever they call them. Put one of the, get one of those out there. You're not looking to be perfect here. You're just looking to get the app out there as good as you can. But you would do yours a couple, two, three weeks later as well. And then you guys won't have to do anything. You know, give it, a, give that another. You know, three weeks, and then you can start up. So let me just go back to that X start at the time of seeding. About 15 to 21 days later is your round two, and then your round three would be about two to three weeks after that. So, you know, week five, six, that's when you could fur. So about the same time, and you could pick up with whatever you want there as well. Those of you on the seed starter pack from Green County Fertilizer, you've got instructions. If you need those, email shop at the lawncarenut.com. We'll send them to you. But you've got the green punch in there, the 1801, so that's what you pick up you know, after day 35 or so. Beautiful. I love that stuff, man. You can put that in. It's like 16 ounces per thousand. I think it gives you barely a quarter pound of in, so it's super lightweight, but man, it's got the kelp in there, micronutrients, got uh, got got some potash, which is good for your turger pressure, turger pressure, pressure. We definitely want that turger pressure. We want a turgid lawn, and that comes from potash. That's another new thing I've been trying to learn is a little bit more scientific stuff just so I can throw it out so it sounds like uh, I know what I'm talking about. So that's kind of how your fertilizing works. You know, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to baby it, you know, but uh, but go ahead and start pushing it, you know, once it gets out there past day 35, 40, you know, all into that, you know, you can do it. Now, as far as biostimulants go, RGS, uh, Humic 12, 002 microgreen for sure, air eight, those can go down to like three ounces per thousand every couple of weeks from beginning to end, anytime you want, man. Some of you guys like to spray a lot. I do too. Recently, I've been I've been out wanting to spray almost every day. I even got this um, drip feeder thing, easy flow thing I got hooked up on one side of my house and I pour RGS in it and I water like my palms and plants with it like every day. I want to see what it does. Um, so just, I know, I know that feeling, right? And uh, so it's like a hose of brown liquid that I just spray on everything on the one half of my house. And I have some zinnias I'm going to start growing. That's why I'm messing with this easy flow. I'm trying. I'm going to try some zinnias over the summer here, summer, <laughs> over the winter, and see how those do. I got that from Jeremy of the Greener Lawn. He's my friend. And when I saw him in Utah, he showed me his zinnias. And I was like, these are great, man. I'm going to grow some of these. So I'm going to see what they do like down here in Florida. So I understand you want to throw down every day, all day. So... That's fine, man. You know, low rates, low doses. Microgreen especially, three ounces per thousand every 7, 10, 12, 14 days. Really good for any grass at all. All of those have the humic acid in them. Humic 12, aerate. Some people think aerate's going to dry out your seed. I have no idea where that rumor came from. I've seen that in the Facebook group, but no, aerate's not going to dry your seed out. So go ahead and spray that down too. Just keep everything nice and light. You know, you got enough stuff in there already. So no need to go too crazy with it, but I do get it. Now, don't forget Halloween lawn domination is coming up, so save some of your microgreen for that. Once we get out of my blackout here in a few days, I will start those series of videos for our Halloween lawn domination so we get things going. <laughs> 